Hello everyone. Once again, welcome to PM Networking. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video, we are going to troubleshoot one real-time issue. So see, in this scenario, there is some problem and we need to find the problem and then we need to troubleshoot it. So what is problem guys? Here you can see problem is LAN users are not able to access internet. As you can see in my scenario, we have some LAN users, PC1, PC2 and PC3. And I have connectivity from three different ISP. This is ISP1, ISP2, ISP3. On all, all ISPs, we are running one loopback 8.8.8. Eight. and I have three edge routers router 1 router 2 router 3 between router 1 and ISP 1 I am using this subnet 1.1.0 slash 30 between ISP 2 and router 2 I am using this subnet 2.2.2.0 slash 32 uh, slash 30 and between ISP 3 and router 3 I am using this subnet 3.3.3.0 slash 30 inside my LAN we are using this subnet 192.168.10.0 slash 24 on router number 1 on this LAN interface, I have configured this IP address 192.168.10.1. Here I am running IP 10.2. Here I am running IP 10.3. Right. After that, on all edge routers, we are running PAT for translation. Right. So on all routers, PAT is enabled. After that, for virtual gateway, we are running HSRP protocol here. HSRP. Right. And then these protocols after running these protocols now LAN users are not able to access internet so we need to verify the problem we need to find the issue and then we need to troubleshoot it so guys without wasting our time let's begin these are my configuration okay my virtual IP address is 192.168.10.100 here you can see default gateway for these all user is 192.168.10.100 okay so as you can see I have access of all devices here in secure CRT so this is access of PC1 router 1 router 2 router 3 right first of all from PC1 I am going to ping 8.8.8 .8 to verify the problem ping 8.8.8 .8 and you can see I am not able to ping destination host unreachable right I am not able to ping 8.8.8 .8 .8 from PC1 so first of all I should check you know IP configuration on PC so let me run command so IP all so here you can see IP address on this PC is 192.168.10.10 slash 24 gateway IP address is correct 192.168.10.100 and this is MAC address of this PC after that we can check ARP table of this PC because you know to check that this PC is able to resolve MAC address of default gateway or not right this PC should have MAC address of default gateway so so ARP so inside the ARP table we are able to see one MAC address corresponding with this default gateway IP address 192.168.10.100 that means this PC1 can ping to their gateway 192.168.10.100 so you can see I am able to ping default gateway IP address but I am not able to ping 8.8.8 .8 fine so now I need to troubleshoot it so let's say start troubleshooting from router number one first of all from router number one I am going to ping 8.8.8 .8. ping 8.8.8 .8 so as you can see from router number one also I am not able to ping 8.8.8 .8 .8. let me ping 8.8.8 .8 .8 from R2 ping 8.8.8 .8 .8. from R2 I am able to ping 8.8.8 .8 .8 and from R3 ping 8.8.8 .8 .8. so from R3 also I am able to ping 8.8.8 .8 .8. so guys in this scenario as you can see maybe my ISP1 is not available my ISP1 is down right but ISP2 and ISP3 these two ISPs are up so HSRP you know HSRP is running over here between these routers so traffic should go via router number 2 or via router number 3 when LAN user will access internet right but I think HSRP protocol is not working fine over here because my ISP1 is down from router number 1 I am not able to ping 8.8.8 .8 .8, right and on router number 1 we can verify the default gateway configuration as well like there there is default gateway or not so IP so IP route so you can see on router number one we don't have default route in routing table so run section IP route so you can see we have one default route in running configuration IP dot 0.0.0 0.0.0 and next of IP address is 1.1.1.0 
2. Can I ping this IP address 1.1.2 from R1? No. Right? Means ISP1 is down. There is no reachability between R1 and ISP1. Because of that, we are not able to see default route in the routing table. Because next stop IP address is not reachable. Because next stop IP address is not reachable. Right? So in this scenario, router 1 should not be active router maybe router 2 can be active or router 3 can be active in HSRP right so here what I can do I can check HSRP configuration so standby and we can say brief so here you can see guys active router is local router right means R1 is my active router R1 is my active router and standby router is 192.160.10.2 router number 2 right this is problem R1 is active router and from R1 there is no reachability between ISP1 and this age router, right? But if if active router will be router number 2 or router number 3, then I think LAN user can ping 8.8.8. .8 so here we need to troubleshoot HSRP configuration. Where is problem in HSRP configuration? So you can see here priority over here is 115. Priority in HSRP is 115 on router number 1 and priority on router number 2. So stand by brief. Priority over here is 110. So you can see on router number 1 engineer have configured higher priority. So definitely router 1 will be active router right until R1 is available. On R3 what is priority? So stand by brief. Here priority is 105. So actually router 1 was you know primary link right this is primary link so that's why engineer have configured higher priority over here on r1 right now i can check the complete configuration on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 of r1 so run interface whenever you will face this type of problem you should check the configuration of lan interface so run interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 so on this interface you can see First of all, this is IP configuration. After that, IP net inside. Then stand by group number 10, virtual IP address is this one, correct. And stand by 10 priority is 120. Okay, configured priority over here is 120, right? And current priority over here is, you can see, so stand by brief is 115. That means we are using track maybe, right? Because of that, it is decrementing priority by one. Right. So again, I am going to run this command. So run interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0. So here you can see configure priority is 120. Extend by group 10 preemption is also enabled. And extend by 10 decre decrement extend by 10 track 1 decrement 5. So whenever this track will goes down, it will decrement priority by 5. Whenever track will goes down, it will decrement priority by. So guys, this is problem here. You can see. What is problem? Problem is what here we had configured priority 120. Here we had configured priority 115. And here we had configured priority what? 110 I think. So let me verify it again. On R1, configure priority is 120. And on R2, so run interface F0 slash 0. Here configure priority is 110. Sorry. Let me correct it. Here priority is 120, here priority is 110 and on R3 what is priority? On R3, let me check priority over here. So run interface F0 slash 0. Here priority is 105, 105. So here on router number 1 we are using one track. So first of all if you will check track on R1, if you will check track on R1 you can see I am tracking this interface serial 2 slash 0 so track so track so in track you can see track number 1 via HSRP interface serial 2 slash 0 line protocol actually we are tracking serial 2 slash 0 line protocol of serial 2 slash 0 so whenever line protocol of serial 2 slash 0 will be down right track will goes down and whenever track will goes down it will decrement priority by 5 it will decrement priority by 5 here as you can see decrement is 5 so when track will goes down it will decrement priority by 5 then priority will become what here 115 but still you can see r1 have highest priority right 
R1 have highest priority. So R1 will be a still active router, right? So what should be the configuration that whenever track will goes down, it should decrement priority by 11, minimum 11. So that priority will become over here what 109. So now router 2 have higher priority. So router 2 will become active router. Router 2 will become active router. So this is problem over here. And you can see on router number 1, you can see on router number 1, we can run one this command. So IP interface brief. So IP interface brief. You can see line protocol of this interface. Serial 2 slash 0 is down. So because of that, my track is down. And because my track is down, right, it is decrementing priority by 5. So a still router 1 have highest priority. Because of that, router 2 or router 3 is not, you know, becoming active router. So how we will troubleshoot this problem? we need to decrement priority by at least 11 right so interface f0 slash 0 and again say a standby group number 10 and track then track and uh, you know a standby 10 track 1 and then we can say decrement by let's say 11 so now here if I will run the command so a standby so a standby brief and now you can see this router is now a state move from active to a speak right and here I can run this command also so a standby brief now now you can see here priority is what 109 and on router number 2 priority is 110 so router 2 will become what active router now so because of that here you can see active router is now 192.168.10.2 right and a standby router is local router because router 2 have you know uh, 109 priority right and router on router number 3 priority is 105 so still router 1 have higher priority than router number 3 so router 1 is a standby router router 2 is active router and router 3 is in listening right so on router number 3 so standby brief you can see a standby router is router number 1 active router is router 2 and a state of this local router is listen so this router is in listening state now if i will ping from you know lan user again to 8.8.8 .8 .8, ping 8.8.8 .8 .8, now you can see ping is working ping is working and if you will trace root trace 8.8.8.8 .8 .8. so you can see trace 8.8.8.8 .8 .8. you can see my traffic is going via router number 192.168.10.2 this is IP address of R2 fine and again when ISP1 will come up track will come up right it will again add priority what 11 so again priority on router number 1 will become 120 and router 1 will become active right so let me show you that also let me access ISP1 and ISP1 so IP interface brief you can see this interface is down serial 2 slash 0 is administratively down so here i am going to run no set command interface serial 2 slash 0 say no set right once this interface will come up on router number one track will come up so track right now you can see still track is down but soon it will come up you can see the log message as well here now this router ha has become active router this router has become active router so track now you can see my track is up so so standby brief so here you can see again priority is what 120 right now guys if serial 2 slash 0 will goes down it will decrement priority by 11 so what was problem problem was it was decrementing priority by 5 so after decrement right also router 1 was higher priority so that's why router 1 was my active router and uh, you know router from router 1 ISP was not reachable so that is the reason why LAN user was not able to communicate again if I will down interface serial 2 slash 0 say shut down right again track will goes down you can see line protocol goes down so track is down up to down and this router has become what standby this order will become a standby now it's a, it is in a speaking state now here you can see this order is in a standby but what I want when you know 
track will goes down then router 1 router 3 should be my standby router router 3 should be my standby router so here configure pad is what 120 here configure pad is 110 here configure pad is 105 so i should decrement priority by 20 whenever track will goes down right when track will goes down it will decrement priority by 20 so here priority will become 100 now router 2 will become active router because it have highest priority and router 3 will become a standby router right so again we can do do it on router number 1 we can run command standby interface f0 slash 0 say standby group number 10 track track 1 and decrement decrement by 20 right so now here you can see so a standby brief so a standby first so here configure priority is 120 and here priority is 100 why priority is 100 over here because track is down so if track will come up again i am going to run no set command on serial 2 slash 0 say no set right now track will come up so track so you can see my track is up now because of that so standby brief here priority is 120 and because of the, this this router is my active router active router is local router right and now if again track will goes down interface serial 2 slash 0 shut down if track will goes down then this time router 2 will router 1 will not become a standby router this router will be in listening state so a standby brief you can see active router is router number two a standby router is router number three and this router is in listening state right again pc1 can ping 8.8.8 ping 8.8.8 you can see and this time again ping is working via router number two you can trace route it trace 8.8.8 .8. you can see traffic is going via router number two but again if you know track will come up on router number one interface serial 2 slash 0 if isp1 will come up right again router 1 will become what my active router so you can see track is up now and you can see hsrp state is active so standby brief fine so you can see active router is local router and now if you will ping again from router number pc ping 8.8.8 .8, you can see ping is working and if you will trace this time so you can see traffic is going via router number one trace 8.8.8 .8 .8. you can see 192 160 10 one right next stop is 1.1.1.2 means isp2 ip address okay guys so this was uh, a small troubleshooting of hsrp right problem was there because of misconfiguration of uh, you know decrement in priority right right with track so that's why lan user was not able to communicate with internet now everything is working fine here right this is how we should configure hsrp in real time that's all for today guys if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button if you have not subscribed this channel please subscribe this channel we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye thanks for watching